We're living in a world where the internet isn't just an option. It's practically in the air we breathe. Can you remember the last time you went a whole day without going online? Probably not, right? And while the internet has given us so many new opportunities and conveniences, it's also kind of, well, retired a few things from the old world. Today, we're taking a journey down memory lane. Buckle up, because we're going on a nostalgia trip to revisit some of those beloved things that had to wave the white flag, all thanks to our ever-evolving digital age. Ready to see which practices and habits the World Wide Web has pushed into the shadows? Well, plug in that modem and dial up that internet connection. Let's dive in. Number 10. Handwritten Letters Ah, handwritten letters. Remember the days when communication wasn't just a matter of a few taps on a screen? There was a time not so long ago when people used to pick up a pen and pour their thoughts onto paper. Handwritten letters with their unique imprints of personal handwriting, sealed with love, sometimes literally with a wax seal or a kiss. This age-old practice wasn't just about conveying a message, it was a ritual. There was an art to crafting the letter, from the choice of stationery to the deliberation over words, and then the eager wait for a response. The tangible feeling of holding someone's thoughts, knowing that the paper you held was once in their hands. There was something undeniably magical about it. But then, enter the digital era. Emails made communication faster than ever. Ping! went the notification, and there you had a message delivered in milliseconds, no matter how many thousands of miles apart you were from the sender. Chat apps and social media platforms further accelerated the shift. I mean, why wait days or weeks for a letter when you could instantly DM someone, right? But here's a thought. With all the convenience we gained, did we lose a touch of emotion? There's no denying that electronic communication is efficient, but the essence of pouring your heart out on paper, the tangible proof of someone's effort and time, there's an emotional depth to it that's challenging to replicate in an email or a text. While we can send a message to someone across the world in a split second today, there's something to be said about the patience, anticipation, and sheer joy of receiving and reading a handwritten letter. So. While we appreciate the speed of today's communication, we can't help but miss the profound beauty of the handwritten letters of yesteryears. How about you? Next on the list is landline phones. Back to the days when phones weren't mobile. It wasn't just an instrument, it was a centerpiece of many households. Remember the spiral cord, the dial tones, and the shared family phone line where eavesdropping on siblings was almost a rite of passage. Those were the days when phone calls had a sense of occasion, each ring igniting a mix of curiosity and excitement. But the world began to change, and swiftly. Mobile phones made their entrance, first as bulky bricks, and then evolving into sleek devices that slipped effortlessly into our pockets. The shift was monumental. With internet-based communication apps, we moved away from traditional calls, making voice notes and video calls the new norm. The once ubiquitous landline began its slow fade into the background. It's interesting how tech shapes our habits. Landlines fostered communal experiences, often grounding us to a spot, fostering prolonged conversations. In contrast, mobiles offer personal freedom, but also bring an element of constant connectivity, sometimes bordering on intrusion. The landline era, with its limitations and charm, surely evokes a sense of nostalgia. Do you miss the ring of the old telephone, too? Number eight on our list is traditional bookstores. There's something truly magical about traditional bookstores. Picture it, wooden shelves lined with countless tales, the intoxicating scent of fresh paper and old leather, and the hushed whispers of fellow book lovers lost in the aisles. Each visit was an adventure, a treasure hunt where you might stumble upon a forgotten classic or the latest bestseller. The soft background music, the cozy reading nooks, and the joy of holding a physical book, flipping each page, are memories many of us cherish. Enter the digital age and the rise of giants like Amazon. The convenience of browsing thousands of titles from the comfort of your home, paired with next-day delivery, changed the game. As if this wasn't enough, ebooks and digital readers made carrying a library in your pocket a reality. They are the MP3 players for books. Physical bookstores, with their overheads and limited space, struggled to compete against this digital onslaught. But here's the perpetual debate. Ebooks or physical books? 
While ebooks win on convenience, offering features like adjustable fonts and inbuilt dictionaries, they lack the tactile joy a physical book provides. There's no digital replacement for the thrill of adding a new book to your shelf or the nostalgia of an old dog-eared favorite. In the grand clash between the modern and the traditional, where do your loyalties lie? Number 7. Travel Agencies Before the dot-com boom, planning a vacation felt a lot like charting unknown waters. Travel agencies were our trusty compass, guiding us through holiday packages, cruises, and exotic tours. Stepping into a travel agency, with its walls plastered with enticing posters of sun-soaked beaches and historic landmarks, was the starting point of many adventures. These professionals knew the ins and outs, the best deals, and the hidden gems, ensuring our getaways were dreamy and hassle-free. But as with many industries, the internet ushered in disruption. Websites offering online flight and hotel bookings mushroomed, providing instant price comparisons, user reviews, and a myriad of choices right at our fingertips. The middleman was suddenly edged out, replaced by algorithms and user-friendly interfaces. Websites like Expedia, Airbnb, and Skyscanner became household names, turning travel planning into a DIY task. Now, equipped with tools and platforms, many of us piece together our trips, relying on blogs, vlogs, and reviews. Gone are the days of cookie-cutter packages. In are the tailored, off-the-beaten-path experiences. But with all this autonomy, do we sometimes miss the expertise and personal touch that traditional travel agencies provided? In the vast digital ocean of travel planning, it's interesting to reflect on the charm of the old harbors we once anchored at. What do you think? Number 6. Printed Encyclopedias Rows upon rows of leather-bound volumes, each spine proudly stamped with gold letters. Having a set of encyclopedias in one's home was once a mark of prestige. It symbolized a thirst for knowledge and was often a family's go-to resource for homework, trivia, or simply quenching curiosity. The weight of the pages, the finely printed text, and the meticulously organized information made these sets treasured possessions. Then came the digital revolution, and with it, Wikipedia. No longer did we need to thumb through volumes or rely on outdated editions. All we had to do was Google it. A world of information was suddenly available at our fingertips, constantly updated and expanded by a global community. The convenience was unparalleled. Have a burning question at 3 a.m.? Google had your back. Want to know about a celebrity's life growing up? Wikipedia was your friend. Want to dive into the history of ancient civilizations or explore quantum physics on a whim? Just a few clicks and you're there. But with this avalanche of accessible information came the debate over reliability. Critics argue that Wikipedia, being crowdsourced, might fall short in accuracy and neutrality. In contrast, printed encyclopedias underwent rigorous editorial processes. Yet Wikipedia's dynamic nature allows for swift corrections and updates. It's a dance between tradition and innovation. The curated wisdom of the old versus the agile, ever-evolving realm of the new. Where do you stand in this dance of knowledge? At the halfway point, we have postal mail. There's a particular thrill attached to hearing the postman approach, the rustle of envelopes being deposited into the mailbox, be it a postcard from a traveling friend, a letter from a loved one, or even just the monthly bills, Physical mail has a tangible quality that makes it special. Each piece of mail carries stories, emotions, and sometimes the fragrance of a distant land or the smudge of a teardrop. Fast forward to the digital age where the ping of a new email replaces the footsteps of the postman. Within seconds, messages traverse continents, offering us the instant gratification of quick communication. Emojis, GIFs, and crisp text have taken over handwritten notes, bringing efficiency but perhaps at the cost of personal touch. The art of letter writing, with its patient drafts and thoughtful expressions, stands juxtaposed against swiftly typed emails, revealing two vastly different communication cultures. Among the most poignant losses in this shift is the decline of the postcard. Once a staple for travelers wanting to share snippets of their journeys, these rectangular pieces of memories are now relics, replaced by instant photo shares on social media. As we embrace the speed and convenience of electronic communication, it's worth pausing to remember the charm and warmth of postal mail. Do you, like many, still yearn for the joy of a surprise letter in your mailbox?
Number four on our list is video rental stores. Friday nights had a sacred ritual for many of us. Strolling down the aisles of our local video rental store, scouring through rows of VHS tapes or DVDs, the scent of freshly popped popcorn in the air, the murmur of fellow movie buffs discussing their picks, and that heady feeling of anticipation as you chose the perfect film for the weekend, it was more than just a transaction. It was an experience. Each cover art teased a story, and there was genuine excitement in discovering a new release or a classic you'd missed. But technology, in its relentless march forward, introduced us to streaming platforms. No longer confined to the limited stock of a physical store, platforms like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime presented an endless buffet of movies and shows, available at any time and without late fees. The convenience was unmatched. With recommendations tailored to our tastes and the ability to binge watch entire series, the paradigm of movie watching underwent a seismic shift. Still, while we indulge in the luxuries of the digital age, there's an undeniable nostalgia for the blockbuster era. The tactile joy of holding a movie case, the gamble of picking a film based solely on its cover art, and the camaraderie shared with fellow patrons are memories many cherish. The question lingers. In our world of infinite choices, do we sometimes miss the simpler joys of the video rental store days? Taking bronze on our list is physical music sales. There was an era when music wasn't just a click away, it was a tactile experience. Holding a CD case, admiring the cover art, leafing through the booklet for lyrics and acknowledgements, each CD or vinyl was more than just a collection of songs, it was a piece of art. Music enthusiasts prided themselves on their collections, with vinyl records and CD stacks serving as badges of honor, marking one's musical journey. Record stores were places of discovery, where hours vanished as you navigated through genres, new releases, and classics. Then, with the digital age, music underwent a revolution. MP3s, iPods, and digital downloads altered the landscape. The debate raged on. Does vinyl offer a warmer, richer sound, or is digital music the epitome of clarity and convenience? While purists advocated for the unmistakable quality and feel of vinyl, the convenience of having thousands of songs in one's pocket was undeniably alluring. Today, the scene has shifted yet again, this time towards music streaming platforms. Spotify, Apple Music, and their ilk have rendered physical collections somewhat obsolete for many. Endless libraries of songs, curated playlists, and instant access to global music make these platforms irresistibly convenient. But even as we revel in this digital bounty, there's a lingering nostalgia for the days of physical music, when each album was an experience, a story, and a cherished possession. In this ever-evolving musical landscape, where do your allegiances lie, physical or digital? Rubber up is printed newspapers. The soft rustle of paper, the smudge of fresh ink on fingertips, and that unmistakable scent of a newly printed newspaper many mornings began with this sacred routine. Over a cup of coffee or breakfast, flipping through the pages was more than just catching up with world events. It was a ritual that grounded the day. The local news section, the comics, the horoscopes, and the crossword puzzle, each segment had its loyal readers, and households often saw newspapers passed from hand to hand until they were well-thumbed and dog-eared. Yet, as the digital tide rose, the landscape of news consumption began its transformation. Online news portals, apps, and social media started delivering headlines with unparalleled speed. The ability to update stories in real time, the convenience of reading on the go, and the lure of multimedia content changed the game. But with this digital bounty came challenges. The specter of fake news, clickbait, and the diminishing line between opinion and fact. Navigating this realm requires discernment, a sharp contrast to the trust once placed in the morning paper. Traditional media houses, some century-old pillars of journalism, faced an existential crisis. While many grappled with plummeting circulation numbers and ad revenues, others innovatively pivoted to online platforms, podcasts, and video content. As we stand at this intersection of tradition and technology, it's intriguing to reflect. While the medium has evolved, has our trust in the message also changed? Do you still find solace in the tangible authenticity of printed newspapers? And the internet's ultimate vid Tim is the high street. Wandering down the high street used to be an event in itself, 
The allure of window displays showcasing the latest trends, the lively bustle of shoppers, and the personal touch of in-store assistants made for a vibrant shopping experience. Each store had its ambiance, its distinct scent and soundtrack. There was joy in trying on clothes, testing out gadgets firsthand, or simply people watching from a cafe as the world passed by. The high street was more than just commerce. It was a communal space of connection and shared experiences. Yet in the shadow of this lively atmosphere, e-commerce platforms began their ascent. Giants like Amazon, eBay, and countless others offered a shopping smorgasbord from the convenience of one's home. No queues, no parking hassles, and a world of choice at the click of a button. While shoppers reveled in this newfound convenience, local businesses felt the heat. Many iconic high street names faced dwindling footfalls, and the closed signs became an all-too-common sight. The big question looms, what is the future of the high street? Some experts envision a revival, reimagining it as a space for experiences rather than just transactions. Others predict a complete transformation with the physical merging with digital in innovative ways. Augmented reality shopping, perhaps? As we ponder this, one thing's clear. The heart of the high street, its spirit of community and shared memories, is irreplaceable. How do you envision the next chapter of our beloved high streets? As we journeyed through this list, it's evident that the digital age, with all its wonders, has reshaped our world in profound ways. Yet, amidst the bites and pixels, it's essential to remember the beauty of tangible experiences, the weight of a book, the texture of a handwritten letter, or the chatter on a bustling high street. It's a reminder that life isn't just lived online, it's the balance between the virtual and the real that makes our experiences holistic. So, as we enjoy the conveniences of the digital realm, let's also cherish the analog moments. Let's make time for a trip to that cozy bookstore around the corner or perhaps send a postcard from our next vacation. It's these small gestures that bridge the worlds and make us appreciate the richness of both. In the end, change is the only constant. The landscapes of our memories will always evolve, shaped by technology, culture, and time. But as we embrace the future, our hearts will forever hold on to fragments of the past. Nostalgia is a testament to the depth of our experiences, a gentle reminder of where we've been and how far we've come. As we sign off today, take a moment to reminisce, to appreciate, and to hope. In this dance of change, let's not forget the steps that brought us here. Until next time, keep cherishing the memories. Thank you so much for joining us on this nostalgic trip down memory lane. If you enjoyed today's journey, please give this video a thumbs up and share your most cherished memories from the pre-internet era in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on more content like this. Until our next digital dive, remember to cherish the past while embracing the future. Stay connected, stay curious, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers!